So in this video we're going to talk about the mortgage repayment problem. That is if we borrow a certain amount of money today, we're going to take £100,000 at a certain interest rate and we want to pay it back in a uh, constant payment. So we want to pay the same amount, here I'm going to say every year, you could apply this just as easily to payments every month, but I'm going to pay the same actual amount of money each month and I want to pay that mortgage off perfectly by the end of 25 years. If there was no interest, of course the answer would just be £100,000 divided by 25. But when there's interest, we have to take that into account. And so these problems really are about that kind of changing value of money over time. You know, the idea that money today isn't worth the same as, as money in a year's time when there's interest. And with the interest, to be really clear, we are going to, we're assuming it's compound interest. So it's 8% uh, of whatever capital is left at that point in the problem. So if we pay off £10,000, we're going to pay 8% of the 90000 that's left. But it's not continuously compounded. We're just going to apply the interest once a year at the uh, end of the year and then make the payment right away. So at the end of year one, we're going to owe 100,000 times 1.08 and I'll just write 100 instead of 100,000 so I don't have to keep writing these zeros and we're going to pay off an amount x. So that's how much we owe at the end of year 1. At the end of year 2 we're going to take that year 1 amount and add interest on whatever's left there of 1.08 and make another payment of x and then we just keep doing this year after year. Um, but let's simplify this a little bit as we go along, right? So I've got 100 times 1.08 squared uh, minus 1.08x minus x. So at the end of year three, right, we take this amount that we've just worked out, multiply it by 1.08, and then subtract x. So multiplying that out, we get 100 times 1.08 cubed minus 1.08 squared times x, minus 1.08 times x, minus x. So you can convince yourself that at the end of year 25, this, if you keep applying this procedure, we'll have 100 times 1.08 to other 25, minus 1.08 to other 24 times x, minus 1.08 to the 23 times x, at the end here I'll have 1.08 squared times x minus 1.08 times x and finally minus x for the final repayment. And you can interpret this line quite nicely. So at the end of year 25 the total capital outstanding would have been 100 times 1.08 to the 25 had we not made any repayments, right? That's how much borrowing £100,000 or 8% would cost over 25 years without repayments. But we've just made a payment of x here right at the end and last year's repayment of x if i invested it at eight percent would today be worth 1.08x so if you like if i hadn't made that payment last year uh, i would owe an extra 1.08 times x if i hadn't made the payment two years ago that payment of x two years ago at eight percent interest in today's money is worth 1.08 squared times x, right? The, the, the very first payment I made here of 1.0 of x at the end of year one has had 24 years uh, of interest or inflation applied to it, if you like. So if I hadn't made that payment 24 years ago, I would owe an extra 1.08 to the 24 times x. And so the interest, uh, th this mortgage problem comes down to saying I want the total amount outstanding at the end of year 25 to be equal to zero. Okay, so I want to solve for x zero equals 100 times 1.08 to the 25. And now you notice all the other terms have an x in them and they're all minus. So let's factorize that out. And I'm going to write the sequence down from right to left now instead. So I've got 1 and then this one is 1 .0 plus 1.08 plus 1.08 squared and then all the way up to 1.08 to the 23 and 1.08 to 
for the 24. So if you've done A-level maths, or you might know this anyway, uh, this is a sequence and it's a particular type of sequence. It's a geometric progression and it's got the first term 1 and the common ratio 1.08. And so we know that the sum to 25 terms of uh, a, a geometric progression here is just a times um, r to the n here is 25 minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Look up videos on geometric progressions if you don't know how to do that bit. But what that means is effectively we can just, uh, I mean, you, know, you could also just do this by hand, right? I mean, there's just numbers here, so you could type that into the calculator and work out what this number is. But um, obviously for mortgage repayment problems, we have a lot of uh, values to add up here. So this is much more efficient. So my A is one, so actually I don't even need the one in the formula here. So I'm just gonna have X times, um, 1.08 to the 25 minus 1 divided by 1.08 minus 1 and so now we see this is an easy equation to solve right we just have 0 equals c minus d times x where c and d are some uh, are these constants so you know x is just equal to c divided by d and x here is equal to then 100 times 1.08 to the 25 divided by this uh, number here. So if I divide by a fraction and multiply by its reciprocal, so I can just say times 1.08 minus 1, so that's 0 0.08 over 1.08 to the 25 minus 1. And now we can just plug that into the calculator. And if you do, uh, you find that you get 9,367 pounds and 87 pence to the nearest pence, to the nearest 1p. So that would be the amount that we would have to pay off every year if we wanted to pay the same amount for 25 years and pay that off exactly. So 8% is a relatively high rate of interest, at least in today's terms. Um, but you can see how easy it would be to adapt this method just by changing the interest rate to something else changing annual rep repayments to monthly ones if you want to. You could do something like dividing the interest rate by 12 and and then multiplying the number of payments by 12 for a particular mortgage. Obviously, you've got to look at the actual terms of how they calculate those interest payments, whether they do it monthly or annually or on some other basis, uh, and be careful about what the interest rate means. But the basic idea is that. So I hope that was useful. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else around this you'd like to see or if anything isn't clear, um, please do like and subscribe and share this if you found it useful and I will see you in the next video.